Hello YouTube, this is Matt. I'm back again. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I have some important information I'd like to share with you if you are interested in selling items overseas, locally, or just in general. Um, just a little information about sending items overseas is what I'm going to touch on in this video. But if you have any questions about selling phones on eBay or Craigslist, uh, message me, subscribe to me, and I'll be more than uh, willing to help you out with any questions you may have. Uh, but to touch on sending phones overseas, the reason you would want to do that is because the value overseas is much greater than in the U.S. <clears throat> For instance, the iPhone 5 is a very hot item in Russia uh, that I found recently. The value is a good $100 over what you would pay in the U.S. And they would sell it for almost double over there. So it's a win-win because you know when the customer is going to get it in Russia, there's a very low chance of them getting mad about it even if it's not in perfect condition because they can flip it over there for double what they paid you. So the only downside and what I found to be a very big pain in the butt is the length of time it takes to get to Russia. I ship USPS and I found that express mail is the best way to go um, because it's air mail and the problem with that though is customs which we have no control over and that would be the the one downside that I found after sending dozens of them overseas is customs can hold some longer than normal and give you no explanation for it. So, and there's a lot of um, corruption where you, where your, the postal service or just steal your item because on your customs form that you have to fill out to declare what item you're sending over, you have to put the item on the form, which uh, some people like to put different words like t-shirt or something so they wouldn't uh, be so they wouldn't be as likely to get stolen but that could also screw you over too because if you have any insurance they won't cover a t-shirt when you sold an iPhone so um, you lied on the customs, customs form and you'll not get any money back so it's best to be as honest as possible and abide by the system <sighs> With that being said, if it's a very risky thing to do. So um, I sold a lot of them, and I made a lot more money than I would have made selling them in the U.S., but I kind of wish uh, I would have just sold them in the U.S. and taken my money and turned them over quick because when you, have, when you send them overseas, you get that money tied up because, like, for instance, one of my customers, it's taken over a month to get it. And this is express mail. It should be five, like four to five days max. Um, in some cases, more. But a month means that it's stuck in customs and they're going to be uh, viewing the form and whatever else they do that I don't know about. It's taking a while. So the customer's mad and they go to PayPal and they open up a claim and then they hold your money. And then you get mad because you're out the $800 or whatever it is that you sold it for. And it's frustrating because you can call PayPal. And they're really nice people, but they won't release the money until the tracking says delivered. And it only says up until it leaves the U.S. It never says anything into Russia. Um, so customer doesn't have the phone. I don't have the phone. So we're both mad, and it's, it's a bad situation. So my advice to you, if you were to send overseas, you know, try it a few times and see if you get very lucky, which you probably will. I've... I've sold many, many overseas, and there's only a couple that I've that I've lost on, and um, I haven't lost on them yet. It's just pending. So do everything you can. Insure it. Um, don't lie on your customs form. Um, what else? Send express mail. Don't send priority or first class because you'll lose it immediately. If you send anything overseas without tracking, just think of it as a donation to that country. All right, because you'll never see it. Um, they see that too. They notice the item has no tracking and they take advantage of that. So, um, but personally, sending to Russia is the country to, to target because they pay a lot more for them simply because there's no Apple stores in that country, um, which I, I, have, I have no problem sending over there and, and helping them get that product they want. I just wish that there was a more guaranteed way to get through customs. So if you had any suggestions, maybe I was wrong on something, but... Uh, from my personal experience, this is how it's been working out for me. Uh, comment below, send me a message, and I'll try to help you out if you have any questions. Um, but this is Matt, and uh, thank you for watching.